Since 2015, the use of a flame retardant based on the element bromine called HBCD is no longer permitted in PS construction foam, resulting in 100,000 tons of PS foam waste each year. To keep the valuable resource polystyrene in the loop to produce new products, the HBCD needs to be safely removed. That's where polystyrene loop comes in. The Polystyrene Cooperative is a non-profit organization with more than 70 members and supporters representing the complete polystyrene value chain. The Polystyrene Loop Cooperative is set up to demonstrate the technical and economical feasibility of a large-scale demo plant of more than 3,000 metric tons per year. It's a closed-loop solution for the recycling of polystyrene foam containing HBCD and the recovery of bromine. What is unique in this process is that the energy of the recycling plant is powered by renewable wind and solar energy in an effort to impact the climate as little as possible. The PS foam we recycle contains a flame retardant. Before this PS foam can be recycled, it needs to be pre-treated in one of our hubs. This process is done in four steps. It starts when old buildings are demolished and PS foam waste containing HBCD is released. To make sure the PS foam waste is suitable for treatment in the PS loop plant, it has to be separated as much as possible from other waste, like concrete, glass, or wood at the demolition site. When the waste arrives at a PS loop hub for pretreatment, impurities are further removed and compacted. This reduces the volume by a factor of 20. The compacted material is then transported from the hub to the polystyrene loop plant by truck, ready to be recycled. So we're standing here in front of the polystyrene loop plant, which is based on the Creosol technology. A solvent-based purification process allowing the separation from the polystyrene foam from the flame retardant HPCD. So what happens, the polystyrene foam is just being dissolved. There's no reaction taking place. Even better, the molecular structure of the polystyrene stays unchanged, which allows it to keep its valuable properties. But let's go inside and I'll show you how it's done. So we're now standing inside of the polystyrene loop plant. What happens here is that we get the compacted polystyrene foam, which is then shredded and stored into silos. From there, it goes to the first dissolution vessel, where we add the polystyrene foam, which allows us to filter out any impurities and create the polystyrene gel. This is then further washed to get out the HPCD. Polystyrene gel is then further dried and palletized to create our loop PS resicate which has the same properties as virgin material. Our customers can then make new insulation foam from it. The HPCD that we wash out and goes to a neighbor's ICL to further refine it. ICL IP is a bromine plant located in Venezuela. Our main bromine source we use to make our products from comes from the Dead Sea in Israel where the water is evaporated and the bromine salts are transported to us by trucks. Bromine import is not the only source we use. We also recycle contaminated bromine from other companies. Polystyrene Loop is one of the companies we should recycle the bromine from. The HPCD they bring to us is a brominated flame retardant. The HPCD is sent to our bromine recovery unit where it is incinerated and the elemental bromine is recovered. This bromine can be reused to produce new polymeric frame retardants to be applied in insulation products made from loop PS.